Are we there yet? Bex and Dan are on a road trip, and it's got them wondering why roads don't just always go in straight lines. This is a really bendy road. I wonder why they made it that way. It would be much easier to drive on if it was straight. Yeah, and we'd get there more quickly. Don't they say the fastest way between two points is a straight line? Hey, watch out! Looks like a tyre in the road! Good swerve, Dan! If we travelled in a straight line just then, we'd have ended up in a hedge. From the earliest times, taking a straight route between two points hasn't always been easy. There may have been natural objects in the way, such as trees, rivers and hills. And today, man-made things like other roads, houses and railway tracks might also be in the way. The people who made this twisty, turny road probably had to get around loads of obstacles. Maybe this used to be a forest and the road we're on was an ancient pathway around the trees. That could well be true, Bex. When a new road is needed, planners have to think carefully about how to get around a range of different obstacles. They will examine all possible routes to find one which avoids the least number of obstacles. Building roads in a straight line would be ideal, but what if there isn't a clear straight route without any objects in the way? Talking of things getting in the way, check out that big lake over there. Imagine if you needed to build a road in that direction. Yeah, I'm guessing cars don't float very well, not even with massive inflatable lilos. Well, you could always go around the edge. Might take a long time though. And if it was a river, well, rivers can be very long and that would be a heck of a detour. I suppose you'd just need to build a bridge. Bridges are a simple way to help traffic move in a straight line over obstacles that can't be moved, like lakes, canals and rivers, and not forgetting railways and other roads. Although it can be expensive to build a bridge, often it's cheaper than having traffic going on a long detour. All right, what about if there's a huge mountain in the way? I suppose you could make a spiral road around the edge? Might make you dizzy. Imagine if the road just went straight over the top. It'd be like a roller coaster on the way down. Sounds completely terrifying. As well as being as straight as possible, roads need to be as flat and level as possible. Not only to help traffic go more quickly, but because it's safer and better for the environment. So, whilst as fun as it sounds, you won't find many roller coaster roads in hilly places. Sometimes engineers will dig a tunnel through a large hill or dig down to create a cutting, using the soil to fill in lower parts so everything is on the level. What if you had a bunch of canals, roads and railways to cross? And a million houses to get over? I'm guessing it could get complicated. The world's biggest bridge, maybe. To go over the top of an entire town? Hey, I've just realised bridges are like your jokes, Dan. What do you mean? I mean, they go right over people's heads. Oh, thanks a bunch. Are we there yet? With support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash roads.